All right, hey everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you how to uh, assemble my knife. And I've got two different kinds, um, or two different styles, I should say. The first style, this was, a, this was my prototype, actually has uh, two magnets. These are six millimeters by two millimeters, so six diameter, two millimeter thickness. And it flips around. You get a much more satisfying click with the two magnets. Um, and to close it, you go the opposite way. And there's two more magnets, and then there's a magnet under this knife as well. Oh, actually, you know what? This was one of my first prototypes. I started doing uh, to hold these blades in by a little by a little clip here. I didn't like this, so I changed it, which you'll see in the next version. But I just wanted to show you I do have a version with uh, two. Uh, magnets and you do get a more satisfying click with this one thing you have to be careful of um, is getting these magnets in the right order because if, if you don't have the polarization right they'll repel each other right so I think when I started assembling this I put in this magnet first and I glued it in and then you can see as this one goes in this magnet touches first so I made sure that connected and then I made sure this one connected or had the right polarization and then um, the, the, these two then this one had the right polarization with that I uh, hope that makes sense but you can't just throw these magnets in because um, they may spread it apart instead of bringing it together the opposite of what you want so um, this was my first version like I said two magnets works awesome once it's once it's out um, it doesn't move and then once it's locked in it stays pretty good you gotta you have to give it a pretty good push to get these out um, the second version I have is uh, the same thing except this only has one magnet um, one magnet here one magnet here and this is a eight millimeter by two millimeter Still has a nice click, not quite as satisfying of a clip or a click, um, but it still works just fine. This magnet right here, hold this blade and see if I can do it without hurting myself. So that's there's the other magnet. So with this model, you'll need three magnets. You'll need one for the blade and then one for each end. And again, as you open this, this can't move and closes nice and neat okay so how we assemble this um, you're gonna need the three black pieces which um, really the only piece that needs I think needs to be um, PETG would be this piece right here because there is a kind of a spring which is what holds the knife in and you can see this is very dangerous I cut myself not that long ago trying to assemble one of these things that is from a different thing um, so this should really be in like a PETG or something with a little springiness uh, because you don't want this part to wear out I think with PLA it might it may just bend and then not come back and then these can be I just printed in the PETG since it's black and these I made in uh, PLA so and of course it could all be PETG or it could all be PLA you can try either one so the first thing you do is assemble I've got two parts for the little pivot I've got one with a hole and then one that fits inside of it and so these are pretty tight on purpose uh, because I feel like they're gonna loosen up over time so first you stick this in here and sometimes you got to use the table to get it in. Like I said, it's a pretty, it's a pretty snug fit. So let's see if I can even get it in. This is right hot off the printer. So um, there we go. Make sure it's fully seated. Once it's fully seated, it is flush there. Sorry, geez, I might start bleeding again. Let's hope not. Okay. Once that piece is in, you take your other piece, the knife holder part, and you can see there's like a little knob here. 
um, and that fits into a little recess. So there's really no, you can't do this wrong because you can't put it this way. Otherwise you have knob and knob and they wouldn't all fit. So this gets put on next. That allows it to spin and then it, it catches. It can't go past this 180 here and it can spin back in and, get, and catches that way too. And then this piece goes on next. Again, you got the little knob and the little groove. So this will snap on here. And sometimes you got again, you have to give it a good push. It's really tight. And here comes the real, real tight part is this little guy. And I did this on again on purpose because I didn't want to have to use glue for this. So you really have to push that in really tight. Push on the table, put it on the table, and push in with your thumb. So you hear all those clicks and they should be completely flush if you've done it right. And that's pretty much assembled. There you go. Okay, I'm not gonna show putting the magnets in because I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, for the, what is this? For the eight millimeter by two millimeter, I just got these ones from Harbor Freight. Uh, they're super cheap. They fit perfectly in there, the Harbor Freight ones do. Or just get on Amazon and look up um, eight millimeter by two millimeter magnet, round of course. Um, so you'll need a magnet there, you'll need a magnet here, and you'll need a magnet here. Um, and then this little hole right here is kind of for your fingernail to catch to pick up that blade. The one thing I will show um, is I will show how to put this blade in. This is really the only kind of what in my opinion the crappy thing about this design but I, I'm, I left it like this because it's not too bad um, but but installing the blade can be a little difficult you have to push this down as you slide the blade in so you push this in and it kind of is going to hit that knob then you push this down and it'll slide you should hear a little click and now it's stuck and I've got a little spot for like rope cutting or something like that. And it's in there. It's not coming out. Now the downside of this design is you can't release the blade with your finger. Um, what you have to do is take the other blade. Obviously if this had a magnet in here, we'd be storing our other blade in here. You have to take this blade out or use another tool and kind of depress that knob in so you can push that knob in and then you can pull the blade out like i said that's a little that's a little tr tricky and you can do it with another blade too but once it's in it's in and it's really solid and it works just like that now you can do this switch blade style once once you got everything in choose i'm going to do it i'm going to cut myself i don't know if you can you know flip it but I would do that at your own discretion because you are swinging a blade. Okay, so, so there's the, again, the one with the one magnet at the bottom. A uh, little easier to unclick because there's only one magnet there. The, the double magnet, I actually prefer. This is not my final design, this is a prototype. Um, so it's a, it doesn't run quite as smooth. I changed some of the tolerances, but the double click is a little bit more satisfying and it has a stronger hold. It's, it's harder to move this, um, which is again, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. It's good because if it's in your pocket, um, it won't, you know, it's not going to come undone. And I don't think this one will either. Um, you, you do have to actually purposefully move this to get it to come out. Um, but this one is stronger, so if you were worried about that, um, I'd go with the one with the double magnet. Pretty cool design, I think. Um, I actually, this is not my original design. Um, I am modeling this off of a, a real knife um, that's made of metal, but it is really, really expensive. It's like 50 bucks for this thing. Um, it is made of metal, and I own it. Um, I don't have it on me, otherwise I would show it on the video. 
but um, honestly, gosh, I almost like the 3D printed version better. It's, it's much lighter and works the same. Obviously, this is all plastic, so you can't, you're not going to be cutting anything super hard because you wouldn't want any, any of this to bust. This is for light use, right? Um, but it works really well. Looks like I got a little catch here somewhere. Let's see when I open that. Oh, this is catching here. May have to round that little point over. I don't think it does it on this one. Doesn't do it on that one. And it doesn't do it on this one. So I might have a little, this one might've got bent or something. There, it's not doing it. 